ADM. Um, this is something everybody gets wrong because nobody really distinguishes the difference. He's like, how fast is that car? I don't know. What's well, a Lamborghini? It must be fast. Well, if you stick uh, some bald tires on that Lamborghini and you drive it uh, in the wet roads, that Lamborghini is going to suck. And it's going to, when it comes to cornering on the wet roads, <laughs> that Lamborghini is going to really suck. Well, it's got pause attraction and you got bald Michelin tires on it. That Lamborghini is going to suck. Um, acquisition, drive a motor. If someone says, how fast is that camera? How fast is the autofocus? Well, we're talking about three different things here. Acquisition, the drive, and the motor. Okay, now, uh, screw drive. You know, there's a little slot on the back. It's actually a mechanical drive. That's one variety. That's the actual drive. What about the motor that's in it? That makes a huge difference also. The autofocus ability of the camera. Um, you know, low light acquisition like the Nikon D500, which I'm not using right now. Um, really, really fast. Negative 4 EV autofocus acquisition. Now, if you're going to shoot at something really un... you know, something that has no contrast, then uh, even the best camera is going to have an issue. Um, so, autofocus acquisition. How fast is the damn camera before anything is driven to acquire autofocus? That's level number one. Level number two, is it going to be driven via the lens or is it going to be mechanical drive, screw drive, um, from the motor that is built into the camera? It's a little screw drive motor that actually drives the lens mechanically. It's actually, you can see the little uh, slot on the back of the lens where the actual motor in the camera drives that lens. Okay. Autofocus from the camera, then the drive, or is the drive actually inside the camera? Well, okay, that's fine now. So now we've gone away from uh, mechanical driven lenses to internally driven autofocus. Great. And then we got to ask ourselves, and this is, I made a couple of videos about this, Lion, a Nikon is a lying dog. They'll tell you that something is a, a SWM, it's a silent wave motor. Well, that doesn't mean anything because Nikon calls two radically different things a silent wave motor. It's kind of like someone calling a uh, you know, a midget and a giant. Well, they're both people. Yeah, but that dude, you know, the midget's no good at firefighting, you know. I'd rather have the big, tall dude that can, like, leap, you know, like, pummel his way. You know, well, they're both people. Nikon is a lying dog. When you read that it's an AFS lens, that doesn't tell you what's inside of it. It's either a hubless, a silent wave motor, a true silent wave motor, or it could be a mechanical micro motor with plastic gears. Uh, and the silent wave is uh, faster. It's also more reliable and it doesn't really break down like the other drive. So, autofocus, drive, and motor. The autofocus on the camera side, how fast you can see what the hell to autofocus on. The camera makes a decision. Boom. Then, what sort of drive is it? Is it going to is it going to send a uh, energy signal to the motor inside the lens, or is it going to be mechanical drive? So when someone says, how fast is the autofocus on that camera? That is a statement that doesn't mean a damn thing. Why doesn't it? Because the autofocus speeds and boy, yeah. I can take that Nikon D500, which is just a Lamborghini, for autofocus speed on the side of the camera. And then stick a uh, old screwdriver lens on there. And, uh, you know, while it will acquire autofocus faster, that's a good thing. And then send the signal to the lens excuse me, send the signal to the motor of the camera to drive the lens faster, that's also a good thing. That lens is still slow, and that is an old mechanical drive lens, so... The fastest camera in the world, like a Lamborghini with bald tires on a wet road, you know, it don't mean nothing. It's like that Lamborghini needs uh, special tires to get the maximum performance out of it, so... When someone says, how fast is the autofocus of that? When I stuck this lens on this new Nikon D500, it was not that fast. Then I go... And then, then I go, uh, 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 <clears throat> what damn lens did you stick on the camera? Well, it's this old, yeah, that's the problem. Well, the Nikon D500 is really fast. Why would it be slow? Because that is an old drive lens, or it's an, uh, driven by a micro motor, which is slow. So I, I hope I made myself really clear here. And uh, 
pointed out the levels of differentiation when it comes to autofocus speed. Because autofocus speed is a, a BS phrase that doesn't mean anything. Autofocus speed entails three things. Your old camera and its autofocus acquisition capabilities, or lack thereof. The drive, what sort of drive, uh, is going to send the lens to. And then the sort of internal motor. Is it a, uh, a true silent wave motor, a hubless motor? Or is it a crappy little uh, micro motor with some plastic ears? Because Nikon is a lion dog, and they will tell you that there is, it's an AFS lens, but that doesn't really tell you what the hell is inside the lens. It could be the awesome stuff, or it could be the crappy stuff. And the awesome stuff, as it so happens, costs Nikon more money. And the crappy stuff costs them less money, and they all, uh, as it happens, inclined, unless you're buying a really expensive lens, to stick the crappy stuff in that lens for driving that lens. And it's a little tiny motor that has a little plastic gear. It's attached to another plastic gear. It's attached to another plastic gear that goes... <laughs> yeah. There we go. So now I have cleared that up, and I am the first schmuck on YouTube to clearly delineate out what it means as far as autofocus speed and why the phrase autofocus speed in general doesn't mean a damn thing. You have to be specific, and specificity is divinity. Okay? Thanks. The devil's in the details, as they say. Bye.